Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. So today I am doing a little mini review on these products that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and they are these Micelle products. I have the Daily Repair, the Daywear Defense, and the Night Renew. Now I'm going to talk first about the Daywear Defense and it is the pink one. And this has a vitamin E and it's a moisture cream and it comes with one ounce and again this is a dollar. And the interesting thing that I found about this was um, there is a light fragrance. Um, it's not too bad, which I'm very sensitive to fragrance so if something smells I'm going to notice it right away. I think I was a dog in a past life. I know I was a dog in a past life. So um, I inherited my nose from that life, basically. Um, but the scent isn't that bad. And then it's a pretty thick cream. That's what it looks like. And it absorbs into the skin pretty easily. Um, it is a little liquidy, um, so it does take a while to dry on the skin, which is fine. Um, I've got time. I've got nothing but time. No. Um, but besides that, I mean, I like my cream to be really fast absorbing and just like get on the day and go. Um, but it really, it really wasn't that bad. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it left my skin really smooth. It didn't help with like anti-aging or like acne or anything like that, which I don't think it's supposed to. It's just, um, supposed to be a day wear defense and it nourishes skin and protects it from the effects of stress and environmental impants Imp irritants the, the font is hard to read I don't know if you can see that but it is a hard to read font anyways the non greasy formula imparts unique moisturizing benefits that can be derived from vitamin E that was challenging. So let's go into the ingredients. So the third ingredient is something that I want to highlight for you and it is called Ceterith Ceter, 20. I'll, I'll, I'll write it down below. Ceterith 20 and um, this is an interesting ingredient because I looked it up and I will quote from the website and I'll put that link down below of where I get all the information about um, ingredients and things like that. It's ACE. So basically they wrote that Citareth Citer, 20 is a violation of industry recommendations. It's restricted in cosmetics and the use and concentration or manufacturing restrictions as well. So it is supposed to be restricted. So it's interesting that it's in this product. And it is not safe for use on injured or damaged skin. Which is interesting because it's a daywear defense. So it's supposed to like defend you. But you can't put it on damaged skin. So I'm thinking um, because I have the goddess skin type that I do. Moose is here. Hi, hey, baby. That I have this great skin um, that I do unfortunately have acne still. So that's obviously damaged skin. And of course I like pick at it sometimes so that is open. So I'm a little nervous now that I've like read this and used this on my skin when I do have like acne. Um, so not too happy about that. So that is the Daywear Defense. Um, and there's another ingredient that I just want to highlight. It is the last ingredient, so ingredients usually go by the first ingredient is the largest in the product down to the small. So this was the last ingredient, and it is called Methylisothizolunin. So, meth methylisolizolinin is it's a widely used preservative, but it has been associated with allergic reactions. And lab studies on the brain cells of mammals also suggest that methylisolazolin may may be neurotoxic. Woo! Great, love that. So that's cool. So it's probably a really small concentration, um, but I've actually never seen methicillin and any of my other products and I'm pretty good about looking so if you guys know if this isn't any other products I'm kind of interested in it now so um, those are the two ingredients that I would highlight um, in this now that knowing this um, I've used about half of it I would say um, unfortunately I just I don't really feel safe or comfortable using this product so um, I think this one is gonna go 
in the trash can. The next one I want to talk about is the Nicelle Daily Repair. And this is a vitamin A retinol cream. And the fun fact about this is that these two literally have the same ingredients, except this has vitamin E and this has vitamin A. So this is day wear defense and daily repair. You think that they would have at least like one or two mousse? Sorry about that. So you think that they would have at least a couple different ingredients, but no. Exact same ingredient. And again, the only thing is that this has vitamin A. And again, it has the Citrith 20 and the Methylsoli in it as well. And again, same thing. There is like a slight fragrance. It is a stronger fragrance than this one, interestingly enough. But yes, same same exact ingredients. So that was a little disappointing. And then the last one is the Nicelle Night Renew. And this one I've I kind of enjoy because it has like kind of like a minty smell to it, and I really did like this one. But again, it also has the methylazolone as the last ingredient. So um, I don't need any neurotoxic symptoms in my life. I already have enough going on that any neurotoxic stuff, eh, I'm okay. Thank you. I will pass. But interestingly, this does not contain the Citrureth 20 ingredient. So um, this is an alpha hydroxy and aloe cream. It reduces lines, poor texture and dullness. It removes layers of dead skin, allowing younger, healthier, more radiant skin to emerge. I actually really did enjoy using this, and I do um, <clears throat> use this at night. And I enjoy the fragrance. It's not too goopy. It doesn't like leave my skin feeling greasy. But in the morning, I do feel really like um, my skin is softer and a little bit brighter. So I'm definitely, I feel more comfortable with the ingredients in this one. Even though it still has the <sighs> methylazolazol, that thing in it. I think I'm still going to hold on to this. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that like worry you? It like kind of worries me. The Cedareth worries me. The Cedareth 20 worries me a little bit more because I do have like sometimes open skin and damaged skin. So I'm worried like that of like coming into my skin and like infecting it somehow. I don't really know how science works, so not sure. But the methylazolone, because it's the last ingredient, is it really that harmful? I don't know. Would you guys use this? What do you guys think? So yeah, that's my mini review of everything. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Overall, I would say pass. I don't think it's worth it, especially on the um, day ones, especially with that ingredients in them, the citrus. I don't know. Especially I keep saying especially, especially, especially. Um, if you have damaged skin, which a lot of us do just from like life, I don't know if it's worth it, and especially that it's been a violation of industry recommendations. I mean, that seems kind of serious. Like the industry literally recommends do not use this product, and they're using it. Tisk tisk. Just for those that are interested, this product is part of the Liddell Corporation, which is in Via Niagara Falls, New York. I'm not exactly sure. There's nothing on the product that says where it's made, because I know a lot of cheap products from the Dollar Tree are made in China. But if you're looking for like a nice night cream, I am coming up with a Dermasil review, and they have a night cream, so I'll let you know if I enjoy that. Otherwise, maybe spring and spend like three or four dollars. You know, really splurge on yourself. And um, I think when it comes to skin products, we shouldn't skimp on that because, first of all, the skin is the largest organ of the body. And second of all, the money maker. You know, I gotta protect my skin. This is what brings in the big bucks. Right here. Okay, so anyways, um, before I keep embarrassing myself, I will let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and my little mini review. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And let me know if methyl is something that's in your products as well. And do you feel comfortable using it? If so, why? If not, why? Let's start a dialogue. Alright, I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye. Comparing the Gentle Skin Cleanser from the Dollar Tree with the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. So I picked this up um, along with a lot of other people who went gaga over this when it was at the Dollar 